Okay. Maybe we're working now. I've been working on this for like 45 minutes now, trying to get this stream to work. So whoever hops in here first, if let me know if my audio is delayed. Let me know if you can't hear me. If there's any issues you notice, please point them out so that I can kind of address them maybe. But had a hell of a time figuring this out a minute ago. I don't know what made it different. Okay. Until people start talking to let me know if things are okay. Um, good so far. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Good so far. When I speak, is it when the camera shows me speaking or is it is it delayed? Even if it's just a little bit. I want to know. But, okay. I've had some crazy drop shipping moments the last few days. Let's, uh, let me take a second and thank everybody for following, for subscribing, and for liking my videos. It's really awesome, growing like crazy, and I'm, I'm impressed every single day just by like how many people wanna subscribe to my channel, it's crazy. No noticeable delay, okay, cool. Sweet, all right, well then let's get going. Um, let me, give me one second, I'm just gonna paste this into the Facebook group so that people know that I am live, uh, because I said I was gonna go live at noon, and that didn't happen, so kind of disappointed because this is the second live in a row that uh, I haven't been going. Sorry, I know these lives always start kind of boring. Post. Make an announcement. All right. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay. Okay. It's only like one, one to three people in here right now. Michael, all right, cool. Okay, so um, until I start getting some questions, if anybody pops in and asks questions, man, I sold some of those raised garden beds I was talking about. And uh, if you guys are selling the eight by four raised garden beds that are on Amazon right now, stop, stop selling them because I've noticed twice now that I've had people complain. <laughs> Somebody sent me pictures saying they're damaged, so I'm waiting for the seller to get back with me from Amazon so I can figure out how to get this person a return. Thanks, Ronald. <laughs> um, honestly, I like doing the lives because you know once they do get set up, I don't have to plan anything. I can just respond to stuff. They're a lot easier to fit into my schedule than planning a video is. Um, I guess it is third in a, I did one on the 23rd and then I think I did one the week before that but yeah like in a seven seven day span I think this is my third maybe uh, if that gets annoying you guys need to tell me hey Cindy how you doing um, you guys need to tell me because I like doing the lives uh, a lot of people do lives once a week I could do lives every other day do you ever drop ship from China Barry no I don't um, a lot of people especially when it comes to Facebook because of that three-day um, tracking number situation. A lot of us don't want to drop ship from China because it just you can't trust it. You, you have no idea how long it's going to take. And just for Facebook specifically, no. A lot of people do that with Amazon, though, and for Shopify stores, that's a big one. But uh, with what we're doing on Facebook, it's not recommended the dropship from China. That's what I thought when I first even thought I was going to start doing this at all. I was like, oh, I'm going to dropship from AliExpress or whatever the, whatever the hell everybody else does. Um, nice. Nice. Yeah, I just fulfilled all my orders and then hopped on. I had a lot overnight. Um, but I thought I was going to dropship from China and stuff like that, but then I just decided, once I started researching it more, that that wasn't the right way to go. Um, use Fulfillment Center. I don't know what that is, Michael. Fulfillment Center. Is that, a, is that like a website or a tool? I don't know. I Literally, my process is I experimentally list things. And I don't know if you guys saw the video I just put out, I think yesterday, about um, maybe it was the day before. I don't know. Whatever it was where I like actually 
you guys follow along as I list things and I kind of think of products to list as I go. Um, I think I listed two things, but uh, I listed some similar stuff to what was in that video. Nothing in those video, the two items in that, what's up Lawrence? The two items in that video didn't sell yet, um, but I listed very similar items to those, which I'll probably give away on my, I mean, hell, we're almost at the end of the month. I'm going to do another top whatever um, items that I'm selling to give away items that I'm selling for you guys to, to do. Um, but I, it's basically like the mail truck all over again from my last top items video. I'm getting so many sales and they're all like at least 35% to 50% profit. Hey, Tiffany. Um, dog reveal for 600 subs. I did hit 600 today. I, this morning I hit 600 subs. I, if he comes in here, I'll call him in here in a second. I'll do a dog reveal. His name is Sven, like the reindeer from Frozen. There's a hair on my tongue. Gross. Um, use fulfillment center. Okay, what's up? For drop shipping, what do you prefer, eBay or Amazon? I prefer Amazon, Barry, because um, if I if there is an issue, I can do a return fairly easy for somebody if I really really need to. Um, I also just Amazon just makes me feel comfortable <laughs> because you know it, it's it's not the hardest thing to get, become a seller on Amazon, but at the same time, it's just their shipping times are just crazy fast and there's a high standard for Amazon kind of so I just prefer to do that plus okay I'm not even mentioning the real reason now that I'm thinking about it I use their credit card I signed up for their credit card on purpose shortly after I started drop shipping because you also get the 5% cash back for everything that you order on Amazon also like I've said in the past that I still need to make a video about I accidentally or stumbled my way into getting tax exempt on Amazon for most states so I also don't have to deal with sales tax from most states when I buy off Amazon so that's why I, I do Amazon but I also do eBay um, just not as often um, eBay is great for patio furniture which is a uh, I've sold quite a not not a bunch of patio furniture but when I do sell patio furniture it's always because of stuff I listed from eBay um, what's up Sven I'm gonna also, let me lo let me know if my audio is too loud. I can never tell if it's too loud or too soft. But, Sven, uh, if he comes in here, I'll I'll do a dog reveal. Um, what kind of profit are you doing monthly? Let me pull up my spreadsheet and we'll check it out. Um, I've only been doing this for two months, so it's not like I've got months and months of data to go over. My my face probably just brightened up because of my sheet. But uh, let me see. Let me see what I'm doing this month so far. Let me look. I'm just going to highlight all my uh, percentages and see what the average comes out to. So um, let's go to average. My average for the whole month is 35%, which makes sense. From one of the numbers I'm looking at, I've got um, a, a max of 56% profit on a lot of items. And then, I mean, I've, there's some, I'm looking at a product right now that where I only got like 15% because of a price increase that I didn't see happen. But oh, here's an 8%. I just ate just eight percent because I uh, didn't notice a price increase or and they had sales tax on top of it so it was just a whole but for the most part what I'm looking at is high 30s high 30s and mid 30s a couple high 20s yeah okay let me get back to the YouTube window oh there's more stuff going on okay um, fulfillment I, I think search on YouTube source from China and it ships from US what how do you source something from China but ship it from the US? Oh, like maybe they just buy a bunch of crap from China and then like store it somewhere and ship it from there. I'm sure it makes sense. I'm, I'm, I'm not very smart, so I'm sure it makes sense. Um, can you do another profit report? Lawrence, do you want my total profit for the month? What exactly are you want? Are you wanting like a video on that? Or you want me to just tell you right here? Let me know. I'll hop on there. Um, Still waiting for the one-on-one -on -one you told me about after your vacation. Barry, is that you? Oh, you're ba you're the person who asked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Let me uh, let me pull up my email. Barry, one-on-one. -on -one. The tough thing, Barry, is that um, where are you at? One-on-one. -on -one. 
The tough thing with the one-on-ones is that I'm busy enough with my side business and making videos this often and drop shipping on like in general that uh, it's it's tough to to do that <laughs> to do one-on-ones especially because it's like at that point since my time is shorter like it's it's just difficult but I'm not against the idea of one-on-ones but like in theory you should charge for one-on-ones but I don't really want to do that so that's kind of where I'm at um, anyway I'll get to the email Barry I can't find it right now and then people are just watching me search my email so which, which isn't great okay most profit in a day from Patrick um, I almost did $300 the other day um, I know a lot of people make more than that but um, today so far I'm at no, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's average. Today so far I'm at forty six bucks. Um, yesterday I had a hundred and sixty five dollar day. Day before that fifty two. The day before that one oh nine. Um, one twenty five. The day before that. So I'm I'm getting up there a little bit average, but okay. Most profit a day, very yes. Okay, are you tracking inventory daily and making sure nothing is out of stock on Amazon? Uh, Cindy, I've got too many items to do that. No, I deal with issues as they come. So if somebody does have, you know, if somebody buys something and I look and the price has increased too much or, or it is out of stock, I just, uh, I check my orders in the morning. Um, if I do have time in the evening, which I'm gonna stop doing evening stuff because it's starting to like be annoying for my wife, I think, for me to uh, check stuff when I'm trying to relax and it's keeping me from relaxing and stressing me out. So I'm gonna try to just handle drop shipping stuff in the morning and just deal with issues as they come. But no, I don't really track anything yet. I've heard, everybody keeps asking me to uh, use Auto DS and review it. I am gonna do that. I just haven't done it yet. And everybody, you know, I haven't heard it in a while, but people were saying um, whatever that other drop shipping thing is that like it's supposed to. Oh, Skew Grid. I haven't done that either. Supposedly that does it. I know Z Drop does do it, um, but it's like a really clunky version of doing it. It's not really like a full full way. If you tell me right now, that would be great for the month. For the month, Lawrence. All right, let me go back to my spreadsheet. For this month, my total profit is $1,677.02. That's my total profit. But there is going to be a return happening that was, you know, a little under $100, so a little less than that. Price tracking is good. Okay, Lawrence, Auto DS for price tracking. So I do need to, I need to try Auto DS, man. Everybody's telling me. I just need to do it. Maybe I'll look into that tomorrow. I got a pretty open day tomorrow. I was going to make a video where I give, where I go through the spreadsheet that I use. And then I link um, that in the description so you guys can download the same spreadsheet. I got I got the go ahead from the guy who gave me that to go ahead and share it with you guys. So um, I might do that tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I'll either do Auto DS. Or we'll, we'll figure it out, man. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. All right. Whenever you have time, please. Yes, Barry. Okay, Michael. Yeah, Lawrence. How much do you charge for one on ones? I don't know yet. Um, the thing is, I don't really feel like I'm worth a one-on-one. -on -one. That's what's so weird for me. But uh, I don't know. I think what we'll do is like maybe it'll be like an hour or 30 minutes, whatever you guys think you need, probably an hour. I don't know. And uh, I'm not sure. What would you guys pay for that? Like I don't, I don't have a source of comparison. Um, I have no clue. Thanks, Lawrence. I try to be consistent, and I'm not doing this because I'm like have a schedule, like timeline for videos or anything. Like today, I just had extra time. I fulfilled my orders faster than I thought. I don't really have anything. My wife's at work, so I'm like, let me just hop online and do a live. Um, so I just there there will be times where you might not see a video from me, but once a week, eventually, if I get too busy. So I'm just taking advantage of it while I can. I'm hoping I can make videos consistently though. But my other business does come first. Okay. Let me get back in this chat. Um, how much do you charge for? Okay. Do you input every order into a spreadsheet after placing it or like bulk placing then input all into spreadsheet? I input in my spreadsheet one by one. I will open up the order from Amazon with the little blue dots. I'll start at the bottom and work my way up my notification bar. And then I will open up their order, copy paste the link of their order, put it in my spreadsheet, I copy paste their name, how much it is, how much the Facebook fee is, 
all those things, and I will, I'll go over that too in, um, when I do make a video on the spreadsheet. But yeah, I do one by one so that I don't lose track because my worst fear is somebody being like, hey, I got the wrong thing or whatever because I've did. i already had somebody say they got two of one thing. So I don't know if I duplicated an order because Facebook will also give you that stupid notification that says you have a marketplace order and what that is is a reminder and those will be mixed in with you have a new or you a new marketplace order placed or whatever. So that got that confused me the first time I saw that. All right. I would pay like 35 to 50. I know I thought about it being 50, but I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll put it in that range then. You just made the price, Lawrence. <laughs> For now, um, if it becomes a big thing, then I'll do more. I don't know. But I also don't want to kill everybody on pricing for stuff. Okay, Tiffany. Okay. You know what? You're probably right. Especially because it's not like I'm like... It's not like I'm crazy knowledgeable. I, you guys just watch me because I tell you stuff. Okay. You are on the videos. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Um, do the spreadsheet video. All right. Michael, I'm going to do that spreadsheet video. I promise you. Um, what system do you use to product source best-selling items to dropship? Craig, I just use my brain. I don't, I don't have a system. I, I, in my last video where I show you how I list things, I, I think of two items on the spot, and that is literally like what I did in that video is better than what I normally do. I, I think I'm more along the lines with most of you where you just kind of guess, but some of you guys probably have this crazy how you handle finding products and like it maybe it works maybe it doesn't work man i just go for it right now i like like those mail trucks right i sold one today but like nothing has changed and i barely sell those anymore i don't know if it's because i gave everybody that option and now everybody's selling it so i just, and maybe like people are like oh i'm not selling it and they drop the profit so they're like ah oh, who cares if i make two dollars a piece on these when i was making eight dollars a piece Maybe that, maybe I'm just not seeing sales from it anymore, which is fine. Uh, but I would recommend if you guys are doing that, uh, don't sell yourself short and lose profit just because you want to undercut people. Not that that's what's happening, but I mean, there's going to be some of you out there that do it, and I just encourage you not to. $1,400 monthly stimulus check sponsored by Facebook Marketplace. Exactly. I mean, how, shit, part of the reason I need to stop cussing in these. Part of the reason I even started doing this is because I was like, man, my, my business is, my actual business is slow right now because it was like, you know, we're picking back up now, but just that time of the year is slow. I wish I would have discovered it like in November, but because uh, apparently everybody was selling like crazy before the holidays, but I missed out on that. And uh, yeah, it's a good way to replace that stimulus check or just an extra little source of income, man. We're just all side hustling. Um you have you have versus you received what yeah okay you should have a VA to place orders and you just list the problem man I want to do that Lawrence but the problem is and I see all you guys watching you can chime in with questions too it doesn't just have to be Ronald and Lawrence and everybody in the other four people anyway um, I do want to have a VA. I think the first when I first hire a VA, there's a couple people talking to me about their hiring VAs right now, and uh, I probably will soon. But it'll be for product. It'll be for finding products for me, so I just don't have to think about it because I really don't want to give anybody payment information to place orders for me, even though that would be the most helpful to have a VA for. Because it did suck. I woke up this morning and had to fulfill like 20 orders. Not fun. Um, I mean, it's fun to when you hit like 10 p.m. or 10 a.m. and you're like, "Oh, I've already made 75 bucks." I mean, that's fun, but yeah, I, I want to do a VA, but I just I don't know. I'm gonna take a quick drink to wait for you guys to ask some more questions. Nobody's asking questions. Okay. Um, man, I. Oh, I was saying earlier, while well, I can give you guys a chance to ask some stuff, I was saying earlier when I started, I was selling some of those raised garden beds that I talked about in one of my videos, and um, I just had somebody message me yesterday or the day before, like, sending me pictures about, they were, like, bent and stuff when they got them, and it's like, she ordered, like, two or three of them at $120 a piece, <laughs> 
and like I art I she I we did like a side thing through PayPal, uh, which is new for me to do also, and then like I've already cashed it out, so like to pay her again, I would lose out on the fee plus the thing. So anyway, I'm gonna have to do a return on those, which sucks, but uh, don't. I'm it's the eight by four garden raised garden beds, the metal ones on Amazon. If you're selling those, mark them out of stock now because I sold like 10 of them and they're just now starting to get to customers and I've had two customers complain about it so far. So I imagine most of them are gonna complain now, which is gonna suck. All right. I have the same feeling, but I'm just worried about getting banned from Facebook Marketplace for someone in the Philippines logging in. Same, Ronald, same. I don't want people to be logging in on my Facebook account because this isn't like Amazon and eBay where you can just hire a normal VA. Some people do it, but it comes at a big risk and I just don't, I don't know. I just don't want to really worry about it. So I think just having somebody have a spreadsheet that we share and then they look for stuff for me and then I don't know how you pay somebody that way. I think it'd be cool to just pay them like the complete profit for every first time that you sell an item that they give you or like the first two times or, or I don't know, maybe just a percentage of things that are sold from that item. I don't know what some way to incentivize them finding you winning items over and over again instead of like just giving you bullcrap items on a list that you just have to you might as well have just tried to experiment yourself at that point so i don't know how you encourage them to find you golden items rather than just like chucking stuff on a list all right i got you what softwares are you using martin i only use z drop and oa genius for when i need to replace tba tracking numbers from amazon those are the only softwares i use and uh, yep, that's really it. I don't do much more than that. How are you going to have a VA list if you don't really have a system? I'm not gonna have a VA list for me. I just want them to hire them hourly, okay. I just, I just want them to uh, find items for me. Supply VA with a VPN. VPNs still sketch me out. I know they work. People tell me they work all the time, but I don't know. I've also heard of people using VPNs for their VAs and then getting their whole account shut down for it. So I don't know. I've heard just as many horror stories as success stories. So it's, it's like, do I want to flip the coin? I don't know. And also, I could just be stupid about the whole thing. I don't know. You got to go after the high ticket items. Easiest way to get that profit up. Also give the VA a VPN and you won't have to worry about it getting banned. Patrick, I'll take your word for it, man. Definitely go after the high ticket items because selling these low ticket items have great profit but damn you're putting in so many orders it's like stressful all right that's a great idea man maybe some monthly salary plus full profit off an item for the first time so yeah yeah that's kind of what i'm thinking emmanuel i had to refund and return an item it sucks but at least i know what it's going to be like on the long run yeah exactly because I have had to do two returns in the past and they weren't fun, but I mean, they handled themselves fine. Fine product, yeah. Ronald, bro, I feel the same about v VPNs. Something about VPNs, man. It's just, we're already doing this kind of weird side sketchy thing that some people super frown upon. Like I've had people message me. I don't know if you guys have had this, like saying I should be in prison. I'm ripping people off. Like I should be ashamed of myself, whatever the hell they're talking. Like, I'm like, Man, mind your damn business. All right. Um, tch, tch, tch. What does ZDrop do for you? How does it put you in an advantage? If you haven't seen like any of my videos where I talk about ZDrop, because I feel like I talk about it in every single video, because I do, um, ZDrop lets me list super quick. Um, I know there's other softwares for that. ZDrop's just the one I found first, and I use it, and it works for me. Um, it also keeps, if you use the extension, it keeps a little list of all your stuff. So if I haven't sold that item yet, I can just go back really quick and click it and it will bring that item up in a window for me and I can buy it on the spot. Um, it's got a bunch of other little stuff that's kind of clunky, but I just like it for the fast listing feature and the copying the addresses from your Facebook order over to when you put input them into your orders when you actually purchase the item. So uh, if you're interested, Martin, if you haven't already heard, I got a coupon code for you. Huh. It's Cameron, my name, and uh, gets you $9 a month instead of $10 a month, 10% off. And to be completely honest, it, they pay me $9 every time somebody uses that. So 
Um, I haven't gotten paid yet. Apparently, they pay me at the end of the month, and I'll give you guys an update on that, too. So far, I think 27 people have used it last I got an update. Okay. I don't care if I tell you guys my numbers. That's fine. Okay. Only Corey says, only scary part about high-ticket items is if there's a delivery issue. Yes. Like, the garden beds, to me, are kind of high-ticket, and there's an issue because everything was broken when they got them, so now it's a pain in the ass to refund everything. It's not fun. Um, and I don't like seeing that profit disappear on my sheet, damn it. All right, Tiffany, what price point do you consider a low ticket item? Well, right now I'm buying, I'm saying this item right now. I know I'm supposed to be honest, but I want to save this product for when I do my top items list at the end of the month for you guys so you guys can start selling them then. The current items I'm selling, I buy for like $11 and I sell for 20 So that is giving me um because yeah that's I, I buy it for 11 i sell it for 20 it gives me depending on the taxes it gives me anywhere between six to eight dollars profit i know that math doesn't technically add up in your head but it, it does work out that way so that's where i'm at for low ticket um those cars were definitely low ticket six I, low ticket to me is like 15 dollars or less High ticket is anything like $100 or more to me. I know some people consider, you know, and then maybe like super high ticket would be like, you know, I was selling some patio furniture sets for like over $300. All right. Marketplace algorithm freaking sucks. I hit 8,300 plus views. Next day I hit 25, <laughs> right? I don't understand. You just have like winning days. I don't, I don't get it. So many phony people in this Facebook marketplace. You're not. Thanks, Barry. Try to be honest, but... The flip side of that coin of me being authentic means that I'm lazy and means that I actually, like most people would only be doing like a video a week or something a lot of the time. Um, problem is, is that like, I also gotta live my normal life. So you're gonna see me dip in and out and like run into mistakes, which I guess the mistakes actually help you guys know like how much, how difficult this can be, but thanks. Um, also, another just reminder, thanks for all your guys' subscriptions. I love it. Um, I, for those of you who weren't here a minute ago, um, this morning I hit 600 subscribers, which is super cool. Where am I at right now? It's loading. I'm at 609. Thanks so much. Thank you. Like the video if you can, please. Thanks. All right. Bear, okay. Martin, you put, you put the work in. You deserve it, brother. Thanks, Martin. Thanks. It's all arbitrage. Every big box store does it. Facebook just wants a cut to increase profit. Exactly. Like, when those people complain to me, I'm like, like, everything you buy ever, somebody's profiting off of. Like, we're just adding a step in the system. Whoever makes the material sells it super cheap to the person who develops the product. That person sells it at a profit to the person, like a wholesaler or a warehouse who then sells it to a wholesaler who then sells it to a retailer. And then you buy it last step for like way, way more than the whole thing actually costs. All we're doing is adding a step in that for people that are too lazy to do the research themselves. That's it. Hi, what happens if you don't ship the order within the time frame? So they give you a three day time frame. Um, Pickle Ho, <laughs> that's the name, all right. They give you a three day time frame. I did um, test that out one time and I let 17 orders, I say test it out, I did it on accident. Um, I did 17 orders that reached that time frame. It hit my, not my cancellation rate because they didn't cancel the orders at three days. It hit my mishandling rate, which doesn't matter as much. Last I checked, it could matter more now. But then I put shipping in for all those orders and I, I literally just took, for most of them, I took like the same tracking number and just entered it into all of them, which I don't recommend doing, but I didn't see any negative effects from it. So whatever. But um, then the next day they were all gone and my canceling rate was, or my mishandling rate was zero again. So I didn't actually see something. Now, on top of that, I did let one order because I was actually trying to get the shipping appropriate for this order. I let it go to four days or five days, I can't remember, and it did auto cancel the order even though I had already purchased the item. So I had to eat the cost of that. It was one of those stupid toy cars that I had in one of my videos. So, I mean, it was like six bucks I ate and I had like $1,500 total profit so I wasn't, I'm not giving a crap about $6. But uh, it will eventually cancel. It's just the three days, consider it, they 
four days it canceled the item for me just call it that so it does happen eventually um love the work you're putting in brother thanks tommy you're the best ronald do you cancel an order if a customer requests cancellation before you place the order what um like if, if a customer requests to cancel before i actually buy the item you mean um because, I mean, yeah, I, I I mean, at that point, if I haven't actually purchased the item, I think I'm misunderstanding, but um, do you cancel the order if a customer requests cancellation before you place the order? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I've placed the orders before and people have wanted to cancel them, and as long as I just place them, I'll go in on Amazon and just request to cancel that order too, if that's what you're asking. Hello, I have a question. Why am I getting zero views on all my listings? Ivan, it's probably because... And I don't mean this in any bad way, but it's got to be because your listings suck. That's got to be it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, but no, you probably need some better listings, to be honest. Have you seen my video where I talk about the top five items I sold that month? Um, they might be a little saturated of items now, but I still have people messaging me every once in a while saying like, ooh, I used the items in this video and I got my first sale or I got my first $50 day or whatever. So watch that video it's called like my top five just go to my videos and find like the top five items I think it's got like a stupid green thumbnail with my dumb face on it yeah use use some of those right now I am selling gardening stuff and um, I did sell some of those toy cars that are in that video just today and yesterday so at 16 bucks a piece they cost six dollars I got like eight dollar profit after taxes and stuff out in fees all right um, so can you just put anything for the tracking number? You could type my name in for the tracking number and Facebook would be like, thanks bro. They'll accept anything. Um, the problem is if it's not a real tracking number, it just won't actually track. So, I mean, when we talk about TBA tracking numbers, basically you might as well just be typing in like my name or your name. You could type in an address. You could type literally just gibberish in there. Facebook will read it if it's not a tracking number as just whatever. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. yeah, I've been sorry. I'm, not, I'm just having fun with you, but yeah, I mean, try some of try some of those things, and um, I kind of talk about the psychology behind that. And I also the video I just put out, my last video, I come up with two items on the spot, and I am selling items related to those, not those two. I haven't made any sales on those, but just start thinking about why I chose these items and stuff, and you'll you'll find some stuff. And then I'm gonna reveal those things, everything that I'm selling here in the next. I mean, I'm going to do it at the end of the month. So next week, I'm going to release a video where I'm talking about the top things I'm selling right now, and people should be able to list those and make some sales. All right. GS Production. I think I sort of messed up. I used a tracking number that said it shipped on the 13th, but I put the tracking number in on the 17th. The money didn't come to my account five days later. I said it shipped on the 13th, but I put it in on the 17th. You might have just missed the window. Um, so you'll get paid regardless. As long as Facebook accepted a tracking number of some sort, even if there's a mess up, you'll get paid. It just won't be in five days. It'll be in like 15 to 20 once after the order was placed, not after it's delivered. So normally the five days is after it's delivered. If you do have to wait the 15 to 20, that's after the item was purchased. So I don't know if that helps. Yes, man. In the UK, we do not have the shipping option as of yet, meaning every customer wants to pick up items. Yeah, man, that sucks. I keep hearing that. Have you heard anything about uh, when other countries are getting the shipping option? No. But to be honest, I haven't really looked into it because I've been busy. Um, and I kind of get the same information you guys get. You know, Facebook's got to be working on that because I think they're kind of using us as a testing thing. I just... Uh, I don't know. They, Facebook's going to want some, some extra fees. Why not open it up to other countries, especially UK? I mean, it should be a, a perfectly fine place to, to open it up. I don't see why not. So will it come in 15 to 20 days? Most likely, yeah. Um, if you didn't get it five days after, the, the problem is I don't even track that anymore on mine because I have so many, like basically I just get a PayPal payout a day almost, and I have no idea what they're paying me for at that point. I'm kind of stuck in the system now. Um all right, brother, thanks very much. Okay. I worded that poorly. Oh, I meant, will you accept the cancellation request from the customer if you haven't fulfilled it yet? Yeah, I mean, if it take... 
Ronald, I might be the stupid one here. Because if I haven't fulfilled the order yet, then why wouldn't I accept the cancellation? At that point, it takes me nothing but just hitting a button. So, yeah. I mean, because the only other option would mean I already fulfilled the order. And at that point, I would be less inclined to cancel the order. But if I haven't fulfilled anything, totally. I'll just let them cancel it. Whatever. No issue. As long as they cancel it or do the request and, I, and I'm the one who accepts it, that's fine. I mean, I've done that just because the profit wasn't as high as I thought it was. I've just told people like, hey, this is out of stock. Mm, that sucks. And they're like, all right. And they cancel it. And I'm like, cool. I didn't have to order that. Okay. Pickle Ho. <laughs> Do you ever copy other dropshippers listings on Facebook Marketplace? No. Um, partly because I'm too lazy to do research on Facebook Marketplace. I don't go looking for other people's stuff. In the beginning, I kind of did just to get inspiration. Um, and what I would do is I'd find stuff on Walmart and then I'd search it in Marketplace and then I'd get all bummed out because I'm like, oh, 10 other people are selling this and they're selling it for like $1 profit. And then I just decided, you know what? I'm never going to look at this again. I never do research and pro product research in Marketplace to compare to other sellers. I just list what I want to list and see what takes off. So no, I don't copy other people's listings because I don't care about other people's listings. All right. Sean, what's up, homie? Thanks for responding back. You're welcome. I already can't. I get so many messages a day now that I don't know what I responded back on, but uh, you're welcome. Okay, thank you. Uh, did you already go over all the best categories? I just joined. Um, no, I haven't really talked about best categories because they really haven't changed from the last time I talked about them. Lawn and garden, that kind of stuff is great. One thing that I haven't listed yet, but I'm going to, I just haven't gotten around to it, is I want to start list, trying to experiment with listing like little tables for outdoors like on patios and stuff it's just basically patio furniture but like where only like two people would sit at them so just like little they're not like nightstands but you know what i'm talking about just like little foldable nice looking tables for patios i think those would sell but i could be wrong all right so it is 24 hours that marketplace requires the tracking number sean no you've got um you got three business days so i mean if you if somebody orders something on friday you got until like Tuesday or Wednesday to the next Tuesday or Wednesday to update that tracking number. Nah, bro, it's three days. Good job. They give you three days to put it in. Yeah, and I, I let it go to four days one time and they canceled the order on me. So watch out. Did you get a 1099 at 600 in the sales or $20,000 in sales? Thank you so much. Okay. I haven't even gotten a 1099 yet because I started this year and they're not going to send one until the end of the year. So I've only st I started this in like February or maybe the last day of January. Um, but people in the past have said $20,000 gets you a 1099. But also like with me owning a business since I like some of you guys know I said I do a videography business as my main business. Um, if I want to contract somebody out and have them go shoot something for me or edit on my behalf and I pay them more than $600 in the total year, I have to supply them with a 1099. So I was always the impression that $600, no matter what, you get a 1099. But some people were saying 20000 Either way, I also just got an update from one of you guys that they kind of changed the tax rules to where now probably everybody needs a spreadsheet because you're going to have to, no matter what, if you're selling like get, you're gonna get a tax sheet for it so yeah um i haven't gotten one yet but i imagine you get one no matter what now um what do you do if facebook cancel the item for not uploading your tracking on time so petra that happened to me um after not uploading one for four days i had to eat the cost i did um submit like a review being like yo this like the customer got the item and facebook canceled it because i didn't get tracking for it in in time or i missed it i can't remember it's probably my fault most likely. But um, I just had to eat the cost. And it was only six bucks or seven. But um, yeah, my throat's hurting because I'm talking so much. Hold on. You could technically message those people if you really wanted to and be like, hey, Facebook canceled this. Would you mind rebuying it? The item's already shipped, whatever. At that point, you're at the mercy of if they feel like being cool or not. <laughs> All right, pickle ho. I'm also wondering that because I read something that says it's 20. I think when it first started, it was 20,000 was like the thing. Because also, like if you use Venmo, if you take over $20,000 in cash through Venmo, 
which is owned by PayPal. So this is probably where that $20,000 number also comes from because it's on PayPal's end. If you do over 20 grand, they send you a 1099. Uh, but if you stay under that, it's like it's almost like you didn't do anything. <laughs> so it's like on you to be honest with the IRS or not. I bet that's where the 20000 came from is PayPal. But PayPal and Venmo and everybody, they're starting to catch on to people using them as loopholes. So I think it's probably going to switch to the $600 now. Um, 200 sales. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, but I could be wrong. This is all like me just putting together stuff that maybe I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, there's a product research website called Viral Launch for Amazon. It costs money, but you just keep on making accounts for the free trial. I mean, let me write that down. Let me write that down on my stupid notebook. Emmanuel, 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 oh, Emmanuel. <laughs> All right. Um, viral Launch. Maybe I'll try that out. I make so many stupid notes on papers all over the place that I have no idea what to do. Okay. After hitting 600, Facebook asks for tax info. Yes, but they don't necessarily send you tax info guaranteed at the end of the year, but I think they're going to start. Um, how do you make sure that the tax they tax my profit, not my sales? You need to keep track of your expenses. So if you buy something for $100 and sold it for 20, you only technically made twenty dollars so you need to keep track of when you bought it for a hundred dollars that's where having a nice spreadsheet comes in handy because you can just ship that spreadsheet off to an accountant or you know if you really want to handle it if you guys are going to be drop shipping at any kind of scale and i don't mean like even right now you could say even with my numbers i'm not like at scale like i'm not i haven't scaled up but it's enough to where i definitely don't want to enter this into some stupid turbo tax program or something later so but I guess technically you could highlight all the numbers and you could just get a quick number of like the sum. But either way, I'm just gonna give this to my accountant at the end of the year and have her handle it. And uh, she's gonna be able to tell like, okay, well here's all the profit, here's all the tax you paid, here's all the shipping fees you paid. Like we get to deduct all that when you have a business. So I don't know if you actually have to start a business. I know people who didn't. I have started an LLC for this, but yeah. Okay, you have to keep track. Yes. Oh, thank you. you guys are answering questions. Thanks, Joe. Anyone trying wholesale sources? I keep wanting to, but every time I go in to do it, I just like right now, whenever I apply for wholesalers, they're like, we're not accepting drop shippers right now. So I, I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just pushing pause on the wholesaling thing right now. But I've heard that once you can get into there, you level up. Some of my listings get hundreds of views, but take a lot of time to sell. Yeah, man, I've noticed like, I've usually gotta get something that hits like a thousand or so views before it actually makes a sale sometimes. I'm gonna see what some of my views of stuff I just listed yesterday are, cause they're pretty sweet right now. All right, Joe, yeah, I know that, but uh, what do I show them that shows I'm drop shipping and stuff? You gotta have a spreadsheet. That You gotta have a spreadsheet with every transaction which I will be making a video with my spreadsheet and giving it in the description um, some point soon. Yep, if you get audited, dropshipping is legal and IRS doesn't judge you. Yep, how many items do you post today? Corey, lately I haven't been posting anything. Uh, yesterday I did post probably just because I started selling something so I was just posting variants of it um, to get some, some sweet, sweet, juicy profits. But, uh. For days, I hadn't posted anything before that. Honestly, I haven't posted much since I got back from vacation. Um, like, okay, I listed, I listed something last night before I got off. It's at thirty-one hundred views, and I've sold this item like twenty times already today. Um, and then there's another one that's got fifteen hundred, twenty-seven hundred. Yeah, I'll be giving those away in my video at the end of the month too. Letting you guys know what those are. I feel like I'm getting brain freeze on finding new items. Man, that's how I was for until yesterday when I or, or the day before whenever I made that video. I was like, okay, I've lost my I've lost my juice. I've lost my ability to find good selling items and then I found one thing and it blew up again and I'm like, yes. Now I get to tell people stuff at the end of the month because I was starting to get worried I had no items for you guys. 
Okay. You just got to keep going. Find things that are stupid little things you think people are searching for on their phone at night. That's it. Like, the things I'm selling right now are definitely just, like, stupid impulse items. Okay. Um, for viral launch, I use an email account generator and verify the account from that website, and boom. You mean just to, like, keep doing free <laughs> free trials? Is that what you mean? All right, Corey, it's product post-it. If it's a product, post it. All right. <laughs> that, that was a winning strategy. Um, my fear is selling more than what I can afford to buy. How do you prevent that? All right, Sean. So if you're using credit cards or your own money, I use an Amazon credit card and use Amazon as my retail supplier so that I get the 5% cash back also. I've heard of people getting to the point where they've sold over what their limit is and they haven't got their money back to, to pay that off yet. You have to put your account on vacation mode, pretty much, so that your sales stop and you give yourself a minute to catch up. It's super easy. You do it on your phone. They might have added it to desktop, but I had to do it on my phone when I did it. It's in your settings on Marketplace. And uh, that's, I mean, I did a vacation mode for about a week when I actually went on vacation and I was really grateful for that because it gave me a chance to have all those PayPal things come back full circle and it let me verify for the first time like okay this is really what my profit is okay they gave me a lot of comfort and it gave me a second to breathe um, the moment I get too stressed out doing this I'm gonna slap on vacation mode I don't care how successful I am just to keep my sanity going I don't want you guys like just draining yourselves doing this because it no matter how awesome it might be, it can be overwhelming mentally and you need to take care of your head. So that's what I'd recommend. Okay. Man, my throat is burning. All right. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. I generate an account like every week. That's great, man. I need to check that out. Obviously, you like it, so I should check it out. Corey, I was doing good on Walmart, but they shut down my Plus account. Yeah, I heard people who are using Plus accounts, they're they're monitoring that because they don't want you using that for drop shipping. So everything I ever sold on Walmart, I never signed up for Walmart Plus. Uh, vacation mode is only on a phone. Yes. Yep. You can only turn it on on your phone. Which is so weird. Like Facebook Marketplace has these things that you can only do on your phone. Like that... It makes no sense to me because most of our work takes place on a computer, but then you have to you have to get on your damn phone to like change stock quantities and stuff. It makes no sense. But it's also an encouraged phone use because we're all, so we stay addicted. What's the stream health looking like? Is this stream is healthy? Okay. I mean, we're approaching an hour. I don't really have a time limit on this. I mean, we can go for as long as we want, I guess, but I'll probably hop off in a little bit. Okay. Um, do we have a list of retail sites to avoid? Not really. I mean, I only use... Okay, all the retail sites I've ever used. Amazon, of course. Walmart, of course. eBay, of course. Um, one time, I was selling a doghouse which that's another item you guys can list is dog houses. Those sell, it's just, you know, they sell so much that they, they have price increases like crazy and then eventually everybody else is selling them for literal minimums and it just becomes a saturated crappy product. But one time I was sold out somewhere and I actually drop shipped it from Petco, like their website, and it worked out great. Um, and I've also almost drop shipped from some weird ass little website that I found an air mattress on. Air mattresses sell, by the way. You gotta make sure they got the built-in pumps. People buy those. All right, this is why you guys listen for those little things I just like slip up, I bet. All right, <clears throat> got some stuff going on. Oh, but no, I don't have anything that I, I avoid necessarily because I haven't really experimented enough where I've, I've gone around everywhere. All right, Gabriel, if that's your name. If it's, if it's Gabriel or Gabrielle, I never know. I'm assuming it's Gabriel. I, don't know. I keep getting asked to confirm my identity with a pick of my SSN. And when I do put an hour later or so, it asks me again, but I can still list products. I'm not sure what that means if I'm approved. 
Yeah, I mean, I think so. I, I, the problem is that happened to me so long ago. That actually happened to me before I drop shipped. I was um, in the in the winter. I was selling a bunch of stuff just around my house, and I reached that six hundred dollar thing without drop shipping, and I did it, and it wasn't an issue. Um, so I don't really remember the struggles that I had with that, which sucks because I can't help you guys very much with it. But if you can still drop ship stuff, if you can still list, then you're probably fine. Um, yeah, I mean, Facebook will shut you down if you're not. So I just, and then at that point, if they do, you can ask for a review and everything. So I just don't let it weigh on you too much. Air mattress, yes. I've sold some air mattresses, but be careful. List them for a decent profit because the prices change, they sell out. Be careful with air mattresses, but yes, air mattresses do work. I don't know why. I would I don't know why I would buy an air mattress off Facebook, but I've sold quite a few of them. Yes, and Cameron just said yes. Oh, yeah. Drop shipping from eBay. I I use eBay. That's where most of the air mattresses I just talked about come from. Hey man, buy the unfolding tents to people sitting outside the targets at midnight trying to get sports cards and Pokemon. Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. I did list a couple tents one time and a hammock, and I didn't get much out of it. But that's the kind of stuff I like to sell. Is like you don't really know how much these things cost. I've always heard how dangerous air mattresses can be. What are you talking about? To sell or just like actually like using them is dangerous. I don't know. I've used air mattresses for you know. No, I don't have one right now, but I mean I've used them. I used to go to drive-in theaters with my wife when we were dating, and uh, I had a pickup and. I just filled the whole back of my truck with an air mattress. It was super chill. I loved that. Sven! Chicken! I'm going to try to get that dog review in if you're still in here. I don't remember. Was it Ronald? I don't remember who asked for a dog review. All right, chicken. We call him chicken, too. Come here. This is my dog. His name is Sven. His heart is beating really fast. Hey. He's pretty chill. <laughs> but uh yeah, this is this is him. This is my dog that you guys might see in the background sometimes. He just walks in. I just have my door open. I don't really. Alright, I'll put you down. Alright. Hey. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, that was weird for some people who just looked up and just wasn't aware of what's going on. He's afraid of the screen, yeah true all right so if you get an amazon credit card basically you basically canceling the facebook marketplace five percent fee because you get the five percent cash back from the credit card right or am i wrong lol martin you're almost right so my wife reads a lot of books right and she's got a kindle so a lot of my stuff i like to just have the facebook or the um, amazon cash back for when we want to buy random stuff on amazon it doesn't quite cancel out the 5% fee because Facebook adds on the 5% fee after if you have shipping cost added and after tax is added on their end. So they actually take the 5% fee off the top of everything. So, But when you're buying the item, you're buying it at the cheap cost without the actual shipping or fees or taxes and stuff sometimes. So you're getting a good chunk of it back but not quite the full 5%. So, yeah, it just helps out. I mean, if you're going to be buying stuff, that's the best cashback you can probably get. So might as well do it. Item recommendations from Sven. <laughs> um, Sven likes carrots. Carrot toys. You might sell those. How about all of us in the stream right now list dog toys, a, one dog toy that is carrot related, like in a carrot shape. Let's all do it. And we'll report back somehow in the comments or something. Um, so to use Prime and they haven't canceled you. Yeah, dude, I use, I've use i sold probably two, 250 items. Carrots, done. Uh, I, sold a, I sold a lot on Amazon. It's a personal account. It's not even a business account. It's none of that. I've sold 150 of the same item. I mean, I haven't had any problems yet. <clears throat> okay. Yep, crazy. Facebook Marketplace are sneaky, but when I input all me sold order, all my sold orders, I'm 
out in the total pay from buyer. What? Yeah, yeah, the fee is like, yeah, they, they, they sneak that fee in there after all the, the numbers are added together. It's like, what? Yeah. All right. Don't do prime. I do prime all the time, Sean. I do prime all, that's like all I do is prime. Man, they probably, if they do shut me down, at least I'll have a video to make about it. I warn you guys. Oh, I see you, Martin. But uh, right now I haven't had an issue. I have heard of that though, that they do shut down people for this all the time, but I haven't run into that. So it makes me wonder if I'm doing something different. You do prime until you don't. Yep. There's, I could definitely probably lose out on my prime. But I haven't had any issues yet. But I mean, they've got to, they got to be like, I mean, this guy's using the same credit card, buying 20 of the same item a day and shipping it all over the place. They know what I'm doing. But I also buy stuff from them. I get their, I got their Kindle. I got their credit card. I mean, they're probably also like, eh, we're making money though. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> right now I got no questions. No questions at all. Right now is a great time to like the video if you haven't already. I've got stats in front of me. I got 14 likes on this video. And uh, 22 viewers, 24 viewers right now. That means, and some of those likes came before some of you even got on here. So that means not everybody's liked the video and I'm kind of upset about it. I'm kind of about to cry about it. All right. Don't make me cry Ooh, those likes just spiked thank you thank you they spiked by three three more of you oh five, four you guys are the best you guys are the best thank you all right <laughs> okay um if they shut down my prime account will they take away my video account my wife will kill me yeah dude i don't know thanks for the likes guys this is getting this is great i can't i'm so blessed but <laughs> yeah uh my wife wouldn't appreciate that either so I guess I could start a new one with her email and drop shit from that. It will just, they can't take us all out. Tip, use snag shout, buy pod or jump send for cheap stuff. Like cheap products? All right. What are your profits at so far this month? Tommy, I've already said this, but I haven't seen your name in the chat so far, so I don't expect you to have seen it. Um, also, yeah, let me let me grab it for you. So far this month, I'm at sixteen hundred and seventy-seven dollars and two cents. That's my profit so far for this month. There's some message held for review. Let me see what it is. Potentially inappropriate message. Do you buy liquidation pallets? <laughs> Chris, your your comment was held for review. I'm gonna show it. They must have thought it was bad. Um, no, I don't. I don't know what that is, man. I'm assuming that means like when people are liquidating their stuff from a business, it's like pallets full of stuff. I don't buy anything physical in person, if that's what that means. Um, and I'm definitely not buying pallets of stuff and then drop shipping them. But I bet that's a really good thing to do. My I I I knew people who did that with um stuff here locally, and they made a bunch of money doing that. So if that's what you're talking about, not a bad strategy there. Guys, the viewers matches the likes now. Hell yeah. Thank you. My, my, okay. Here's my main goal, right? Since nobody's talking. Oh, somebody. Facebook charges 5% fee, but on their policy page says they waived this till June 2021. 20, <sighs> Is it Lila? Tell me if I'm selling, saying that wrong. But. Yeah, I've seen that too, but I definitely have Facebook fees taken out of my products. But what's weird is when I started, I would go back and sometimes it would be gone. Thank you. Thanks for clarifying. So I don't know if it's certain items or what the deal is, but there are some times where I go back and check sales and yeah, the Facebook fee has been removed. So I don't know what that's about. That's pretty cool though, because then my profits are actually higher. And that's another thing too, like your spreadsheet might not actually match your numbers if they do that. <laughs> nice, Joe. 
But uh, anyway, my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers, and I so so sorry for you guys if you guys hate this, and I please don't hate me. But I am gonna monetize my channel. I know that's kind of controversial sometimes when people start channels, but that's gonna encourage me to keep making videos, and it will let me take off some of my drop shipping effort and allow me to instead focus on experimenting more for people who have actual things that want to experiment so that I don't have to rely on the actual income from the drop shipping as much. So, yeah. Um, I'm ready to get to 1,000 so that I can get there. And it hasn't taken me very long to get to 600. So, I'm at 611 since I was just at 609 when we started talking. So, I've got two more. Man, it's so awesome. I'm so grateful for you guys subscribing. Thanks gotta make that money <laughs> yeah I just I'd love to make money from YouTube instead so that I could still make money from drop shipping but again I can focus on you know when you guys are like hey can you review this software hey can you do this I can do that instead of being like oh man but I got a list today like you know I could still learn stuff but I can learn more targeted things that you guys need help with that's my goal because <clears throat> I don't have to cry about my Facebook money how much? Corey, what do you mean how much? Right, hey, passive, passive. Yeah, all that, all that stuff. Have two Amazon accounts, only do five to 15 orders a day in one hour, twice a day, only then alternate to other account. Once you pass a thousand order, Amazon start looking into it. Okay, M Martin, maybe that's how, um, maybe that's how I've gotten away with it because I probably only do about that much twice a day. I probably I do that in the morning and then I do it in the evening normally, and that's probably that maybe makes sense for me. And I haven't quite got I haven't even gotten close to a thousand, so ooh, maybe that's why I've evaded this and none of this stuff makes any sense to me. How much for the channel? Corey, you mean to buy my channel from me? Million dollars. Or you mean how much am I gonna make from the channel? I have no idea. Give me a complete question, Corey, damn it. <laughs> Thousand per month. Uh, Joe, I, yeah, I don't know. I, th I think he means like a thousand orders in a month, but I could be wrong. That is a lot of orders. Sold for a million dollars, cool, thanks. I'm a millionaire, man. How my buddy does it, if you don't pass a thousand, they won't look into it, okay. Oh, how much will the channel be monetized for? I don't know. Financial stuff has the biggest click rate for, for like advertising revenue last I checked. So I think you can make some decent money doing it, but you're gonna make more money when you get to like 10,000 rather than just 1,000. But I've, I've started YouTube channels in the past and this is definitely the closest I've gotten to 1,000 to monetize. So, and that's another thing too. I'll start making videos about how much I make from YouTube and links and stuff if you guys want, I don't care. I have no problem talking about my numbers. Um, but I don't really know until I get it going. <clears throat> and also, I think you have to choose, like, I could be wrong, but I think you have to choose, like, do I want v videos only at the beginning of my stuff or at the video and the end, or do I want them all sprinkled in between? If you do all of it, you get way more money, but at the same time, I don't want to be super annoying. We are past an hour, guys, but I don't know if I want to stop. So, don't feel like you gotta stay just because I'm on here. This this will get uploaded eventually once it takes like 24 hours to process. But <clears throat> these are super chill for me. I will watch the commercials for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, Corey. MVP Corey over here. Um. Okay. I was supposed to shout somebody out. Um for literally no reason other than the fact that they asked. So let me find that person. I don't think he's on this live, but if he does watch it later, um, Jerry Ayala. Let's just shout out, Jerry. If you, if you see this video, shout out to Jerry, everybody. All right. Guys, thanks for the likes, man. This is great. This is great. It helps YouTube know that you guys don't hate the videos. So the more comments and, and likes a video get, the more YouTube's like, okay, let's show this to more people. And the more people see it, and the more people like it, and all that stuff, so those are like the golden things. How many listings 
do you have up at the moment? Whew, David, I have no clue. A lot. Um, it sucks when you go to Facebook, it tells you're active. It just says 20 plus, but like I've got over 100 probably. Maybe. But I delete stuff all the time too because I'm like sick of looking at it and I hate having to scroll through all my crap. So I got a, I mean, I've got a lot. Alright, Antoine, or yeah, maybe. Have you done eBay drop shipping? I have for about nine months, now three to four K a month profit before paying the quarterly taxes. I want to, but I wanted to get used to this first. I haven't done eBay yet because um, I don't actually have wholesale. When you do eBay drop shipping, are you just getting stuff off of other retailers or are you using wholesale for that? I want to know. I made 230 profit and in just and just started four days ago. Oh, that's cool. I did research and really look at many people doing it before I started to start strong. I need a software. Might get ZDrop today. Listings are a B. Dude, that's why I use ZDrop. <laughs> Coupon code is my first name. You get it for a dollar cheaper a month, 10% off. Let me just pitch that for you really quick. They do give me a cut. All you guys have probably heard this a thousand times now. But um, yeah, I pay $10 a month for it, but people who use my code get $9 a month. I like it. Um, does anyone ever buy any of the old ones? Like any of my old listings, do people just like randomly buy them, you mean, Corey? Especially downloading pics. Yeah, what's cool about ZDrop, dude, is it just like, if you've seen my video, also my last video where I actually list things, I use ZDrop in it, and you kind of get an idea of how quick it is. It just like craps those pictures in your listing for you. Hey, Cameron, thanks for the videos. I've sold over $600 worth of items on Facebook Marketplace, and they asked me for my SSN, and now it's not allowing people to order. Food lover, did you put your SSN in? Are you from the US? Or are you having those kind of problems? Going to get to today, dot, 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 Z. Uh, nice, I started two days ago, got seven sales, almost 100 listings now. You started two days ago and you listed 100 items? Man, usually people tell you to do 10 to 15, but I don't think it really matters. I just A lot of people are scared that Facebook's gonna be like, what the hell's going on? Yeah, sometimes, Corey, sometimes they do buy old listings. Um, usually that's what gets me in trouble, though, because those things have price increased so much. But um, most of the time, I'm not getting sales for anything over a month old or a couple weeks old, really. And I barely go in and renew anything anymore. Um, there's more buzz going around about marketplace dropshipping. I hope it doesn't oversaturate the market too much. Yes, David, I know. I um, That's kind of why we're all finding success with it is because we're kind of out in front of that eventually it's gonna have to especially because facebook's developing it to be a bigger marketplace i think my questions are terrible yeah they are Corey. your questions are terrible but i'll try to answer them ebay is whack for drop shipping too many people are there um whole is game beat everyone price oh like whole shipping whole wholesaling um i will get z drop from your link thanks buddy thanks martin i appreciate that I do Walmart as a retailer. Antoine, were you the one that said something about eBay? eBay, yeah. Um, I used, I have used Target, but got banned because of drop shipping. Can't buy online at Target. My girlfriend is pissed. <laughs> oh man, my wife would be super pissed. All right, um, that's interesting though. Three to four k a month is that consistently? That's, I mean, hell, I'm at sixteen hundred dollars this month. If I can just make two grand a month, which I prob, I might this month. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little side income, man. I mean, that's what I wanted to make a month when I started my other business. So, I mean, it's that's a nice little safe number. The only thing that I hate about this is like, like I have used, I just used some of the money to buy some airline tickets, but like I have yet to actually transfer money into my account for personal use, like, and just see it in my bank account. It's all in my business bank account that I started, and it's just usually going straight into the stuff. So, like, I can say what my profit is, but I haven't actually seen that profit be used so that's the part that sucks about all this yes i put my ssn in in the usa hub huh? but uh it hasn't been verified it seems like when did you do that because sometimes it takes a day to three days or something and then some people never get a notification now that i'm thinking back i don't think anybody ever told me it was approved um i was just eventually able to start selling again so um you might just need to give it time honestly <clears throat> simple way to start an avalanche on YouTube is to use a question in every video description. For example, what do you want to see on my channel? Like pin a comment or 
actually in the description because I do pin comments and none of you none of you damn people answer them. So like I'm like oh I'm gonna be a YouTuber and put a comment on and and pin it so people are like super respond to it and then everybody's like no thanks I'll comment my own damn comment thank you very much <laughs> which is fine. All right. Uh, Ronald, I don't have the time or willingness to keep a spreadsheet. Do you think QuickBooks could do it for me? I feel like that would be way more. I use QuickBooks for my other business and like maybe, I guess it kind of would because it would link to your bank and your credit cards and it would know those things. I guess it might, If but if you're good at QuickBooks, yeah, but like hell, I, for my actual business that doesn't do many transactions, QuickBooks confuses the hell out of me sometimes. Um, I am going to make a video though with my spreadsheet and it, I just, as I do stuff, I enter it in and it literally fulfilling an order takes me maybe a minute and that includes putting it in my spreadsheet. So once you get a, once you get the habit of just doing it, it's really not that big of a deal. Lorraine, what's your Z drop coupon? Thank you. Usually it's in my description. It's just all lowercase Cameron, C A M E R O N. Ooh, I forget that I can type in here. <laughs> That's my coupon code when you sign up. It gets you $9 a month instead of $10 a month is the price for Z-Drop at that point. Martin, 1600 in profit. Yeah, this month I have 1677 in profit. Yeah, if that's what you're asking. Have you heard of Facebook Shop, Connect, Shopify, and Instagram? I have heard of that, but I'm waiting. And one of the other big dropshippers that are that's in our group on Facebook they just started a Facebook shop and, and I think, I don't know if they're having success with it yet or if they're just telling me they started it, but last I heard they were trying to find a way to connect Facebook shops to Marketplace so you can sell that way. Right now, Facebook shops are best for linking it to other shops, so I don't really know too much about that, but I haven't tried it. So sad that I ordered from overseas four PC, oh, pieces of art for customers. Eek, thank you for the patience so far. Money tied up so long. Yeah, Jane, I don't I don't mess with overseas stuff at all because of that problem. So it's just a lesson learned. I mean, that's good, though, that you're getting patience for that because those kind of people are always great. Okay, pinned comment also. Okay, yeah. Um, someone stole your SSM, buddy. <laughs> no, they probably didn't. They just – sometimes it takes a minute. Hey, Cameron, keep it up, boss. Low-key fan here. Thanks, Patrick. I love that your name has a Y in it. Thanks. Food lover, it's been about three days, nothing yet, and I'm still not getting messages, but people aren't able to order. Damn. My other business is I do video production. So I make videos for small businesses, I do weddings and stuff like that. And then I also help keep track of the other part of my business that my uh, co-owner, business partner does. He does like photography and all that stuff, all that cool stuff, so. Antoine, three to four K a month consistently, but that's being conservative since I have made five to six K some months just with returns and issues. Three to four K certainly. Damn, dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. I hope I get there. Can anyone share a great spreadsheet that works? Jane, I I think my next video or the video after that's going to be the spreadsheet that I use that I got from somebody who does really high traffic Facebook marketplace shipping and other stuff. Um, so I'm going to be actually doing a video walkthrough of that spreadsheet, how I use it. And then I'm going to be linking it in my description, probably from like Google drive for anybody who wants it to download it. So just give me time. I'll get it out there. Um, are we in brag mode now? $1,100 profit in March so far. Hell yeah. Guys, if you want to brag about your profits, throw them in there. Like ain't no rules. Talk about your profits. I think that's great. Right now I'm at 1600 something. Joe said he's at about 1100 for March so far. Hell yeah, I'm about it. I'm thinking about doing this and trying offer up drop shipping. You're, Sean, you're thinking about drop shipping? You don't drop ship yet? You're just in an hour over an hour long live about drop shipping and you haven't even started? Start, damn it. Yes, you're awesome to do this. Thanks, Jane. I will get that out. From I I'll, I might make it tomorrow, and then I'll. I'll make it tomorrow possibly and then post it thir and schedule it to post on Sunday probably. Um, Michael, add a link to Facebook store in communications with customers or in descriptions for a product, sales booster. Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea. David, did I buy a course to get started? 
No, I actually got started in spite of people who sell courses. So like all those other big uh, YouTubers, they sell courses, which that's just a natural step in the business life of like learning and developing and like doing all that stuff. Eventually you make a course and you consult and do all those things. My plan is to not do that right now. I don't have a plan for a course, even though it's smart to do one. I've had people ask me if I have one so that they can buy it. I don't have it. Um, I never bought a course. I was going to. I was like, I'm going to drop ship until I make $350 to buy this person's course. And I was like, F that. No, I'm just going to learn on my own. And then I'm going to tell other people how I'm doing. And so far, I've got a little bit of a following of people who actually learn from me now. And um, not that that's why I'm doing it, but like the whole point, I'm at 6, 12 subscribers now. Thanks, guys. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just, I didn't really want to do that. So, no, I didn't take a course. I just learned on my own. Um, all right. Can you teach me video production or how can I learn? I just for a Sony a6000. I don't even know what that is. Sony a6000. I use a Sony a7 III. That's the camera I'm using right now. Um, is it a DSLR or is it just like a point and shoot? It looks like just a normal point and shoot. Um, I don't know, man. I've got like so much equipment when it comes to video production. I think I've got like 20 to 30 grand worth of equipment tied up in the business of just like stabilizers and lights and all that stuff. So I don't know. It's kind of a, it's a great hobby to get into. That hobby definitely turns into a business eventually. But I mean, we've, me and my business partner have literally been making videos since we were in middle school. And I'm 28 now. So it, slow burn, but we got there. Okay. Um, so no, I can't really teach you video production. <laughs> I do plan on making a class about video production, but not really to pitch to you guys, but just to have it out there in the world on the, on the side. My profit is two twenty five in a month. Hell yeah, Corey. That's going to more than quadruple at some point. So, awesome. I need to invest in a course. They're all 600 plus. They better make me rich with this This price is a-holes. Well, that's kind of what I thought. I was like, man, all these courses are crazy. Big. And I bet, you know, the benefit of a course is you don't have to search through all these videos and learn all this stuff. And, you know, now I've got so many videos. So, I mean... Joe, I gotta. I have to allow your comment. All right, it's allowed. Um, but yeah, I just. I'm sure they teach you. I mean, they teach you how to do the business part and all that stuff. It's. I'm sure it's worth it, especially because I mean, it took me less than a month to make that much money. But, I don't know. I'm just the type of person. I'm super cheap, guys. I don't like buying stuff. <clears throat> all right, thanks, Joe. I've been doing it on a limited basis, but want to ramp up. You will. Richard, same. I appreciate all the content you put out. Thanks, man. I'm trying to put out the good stuff so that you guys don't have to buy a course. And then later when I'm hypocritical and I hit 10 grand followers, 10 grand followers, 10,000 followers, and I put out a course, you guys can all smack me in the face. Um, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of work to me, even though I do video stuff and I could totally make a course that was like high quality if I wanted to. Um, still waiting for my identity tax to be verified. It's been eight days. Damn, Kathy, that's a long time. I don't know how you get in touch with them, but I would try, man. That's tough. Um, eight days. Maybe they literally are just still getting that verified, but I don't know. I have seen some of your videos. Very honest and laid back. Thanks, Lorraine. Thank you. I try to be. I try not to be super fake. I'm thinking about making a video that's like a parody of other people who make videos about this stuff. You know, where they all start their videos like, like, what if I told you that you could be making thousands of dollars a month from your own office in your home or whatever the hell they say? Like, <laughs> I just, I, I love the idea of making fun of that, especially because my business partner could just like make it with me. We could do like a whole full out commercial about it. Like it'd be hilarious, but it'd also take a lot of time. Okay. Uh, still wait. Okay. So was Sean talking about drop shipping? on the offer up website didn't know that was possible I don't know I don't know um I made my first sale today awesome after nine listings over three days dude that's that's great that's awesome only nine listings three days that's a I mean I definitely had over nine listings and it was about five or six days before I even made a sale so you're you were ahead of me on that timeline 
There's enough information on the net and trial and error to get dropshipping going. Courses are expensive and not needed. This is a business, not a quick way to get rich. Yes, that's the route I took. But some people don't mind paying the extra to get the head start. Listing a carrot dog toy now, fingers crossed. Guys, if you if you weren't here earlier, I did a reveal of my dog. And you guys basically promised me on your life through the camera that you would list a dog toy that was carrot related. So you got to do it. It was a promise. You guys all promised me. Corey's making it happen. Jane, I made about 100 and decided to wait till my money comes back to my account before I offer more products. Jane, nothing wrong with that. Some people sell thousands of dollars before they have a chance to mess with it and then their money gets all tied up and then they they get scared. I tell people to put their accounts on vacation mode if you get to that. Some people max out their credit cards doing this. Do guys do whatever makes you comfortable. There is time. You have all the time in the world. Do not worry about it. Do whatever makes you comfortable. I think that's great that you did that. Um, did you notice that quantity option is available now in Marketplace? This changes the game. I already got people ordering two or three items at the same time. Dang it. I don't have that yet. That's not available for everyone. Only some people have that. I'm, I'm hoping they're just slowly rolling it out so that they don't get overwhelmed. But uh, I don't have that yet. So I'm excited for it, though. I think that's great. Corey, to me, this channel and your Facebook group is better than a course, more interactive. Thanks, Corey. That's what I want. For those of you who haven't joined it, the Facebook group, I mean, I hop on like four times a day to accept just to prove people for the Facebook group. Um, there, we're at like over 300 people now. Um, I'm, I'm, in fact, there's one person, Kelly, is requesting I'm approving it right now. You just got approved. We're at 334 people in the group. That's crazy. I remember when it was just like me and one guy. <laughs> All right. Momentum and consistency. Yes. Cameron, you should make a course. David, I I totally, I would make the most badass course, I promise you. But I kind of promised everybody when I started I wouldn't do that. So if I do that, it's going to be way in the future, probably when it's too late. Damn it. Or I'll make a course and I won't tell you guys about it. <laughs> and then I'll just keep it out in the world away from my personal YouTube stuff. Apologies for bad word. I'll, cl I'll clean up better by my ears and brush my teeth. Good, Joe, man. I'm having to approve your comments. Make a parody? I, I want to. Where do you source your items? Does anybody want to tell this man or woman where I source my items? Amazon only, pretty much. I mean, I do eBay and Walmart, but I very rarely sell anything on Walmart anymore. Uh, not that you shouldn't. I just don't. You should do a funny dropshipping reality versus other people's pitches. I, I, I want to start posting dropshipping memes. <laughs> like... Insta okay, somebody just messaged me. Hold on. I'm answering somebody's message, and I just told her, I'm answering this live on YouTube. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, you, that was probably boring for you guys to watch. Um, eBay dropshipping is something to look into a lot of money to be made there. That's what I hear. I want to get there. I just didn't want to overwhelm myself and do eBay right away. Um, eBay is a burn. eBay too expensive for customers. Do you use the free Helium 10 Chrome extension to evaluate possible products? I don't. I don't even know what that is. So I'll also put that on my list. Is it called Helium 10 or did you do a typo? Helium 10. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else, okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Ronald made a comment that I have to review. Ronald, show. If you make a course, I will ride my horse down to Smallville, Kansas to slap you in the face in front of your dog. I buy courses a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Ronald. See, this is, the, this is what I'm worried about. People are gonna call me out if I make a course in the future. Uh, you should add the money PayPal link so we can thank you. The dollar pay link so we can thank you? What is that? Is it like a donation link? I'll do that all day. Bro, we don't care. We want to see you win. Just make the course. <laughs> thank you. I probably will at some time. Once I get down to where I don't make videos as often, I'll probably put more time into a course. But 
I don't really know. I'm just kind of rolling with it. I don't really have a super big strategy. Yeah. Um, okay. I want to know what this dollar pay link is Jane talks about. I want to get paid. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. Where do you source your items? My answer, where there are items. <laughs> Slight smiley face. Yeah. Yes, memes. I think memes would be hilarious in the, in the Facebook group. It would spice it up. Um, I do feel bad for people who don't get their questions answered in the Facebook group. Now there's enough questions where I can't go through and answer them all the time. I just hop on in the morning and I'll kind of answer some ones that I have easy answers for. So just know if you ask something in the group, I'm not ignoring you. What did they say? Lawrence, what did who say? Oh, you mean the person in the other thing? Oh, they they were uh, just thanking me for... <laughs> I feel so weird. I show my, my wife your guys' comments and it's like, <laughs> she's like, you are not that cool. I'm like, these people think I'm cool. I have friends. <laughs> All right. Helium 10. I'll look into it. I heard that if you drop shit from Amazon and sell on eBay, your chance of getting banned is high. Very high. Um, I've heard that too. So I don't know. The the guy earlier who said that, um, Antoine, I think, he said dude, he dropped shit, but he, uses, he didn't say he used Amazon. He, he used Walmart, I think. So um, he, sound, he found some success with it. Not that that's what you were saying, was that he said that, but I know we were just talking about eBay. <clears throat> okay. Food from Amazon? I don't sell food. Is that what you're saying? Been drop shipping on eBay for a year now and haven't gotten banned, and customers are happy. Oh, you meant, you meant like food lover. You're asking him from Amazon. Yeah, let us know. I found you after about your fifth video and really enjoy how authentic you are. You are doing an awesome job. Try for sharing. That, oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Do OnlyFans for diversification. Could get banned on Facebook any day. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll do it OnlyFans. Yes. Will money, many people do and get paid to do the share. I will screenshot and send the info to you. Thank you, because I have no idea how I go about that. Your time is golden money. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Um, sometimes people get drop shipping on Amazon versus drop shipping from Confused. Yes, they do. We are drop shipping from Amazon, not on Amazon. Does putting your Facebook account on vacation mode affect your sales? So I don't know if you saw, I think I talked about it in my last live or the live before that. I don't know. I actually came back from vacation. I actually have a whole video where I talk about putting it on vacation mode, but I don't know if I even addressed it when I got back. Either way, I had $100 in less than 24 hours after I turned it back on without listing any new, new items. So it didn't affect me, but I've heard it affects people. I didn't have that problem though. I kept... I have hiccups or something. I kept going like the moment I turned it back on. It took like only a few hours. All right. I was in a drop shipping live yesterday and someone asked him if they could have their profile to copy their listing. What a duck. <laughs> Why would anybody ask that? Like, and that's another thing. A lot of people, a lot of other people doing this right now don't want to share their listings ever. I would like to once a month, like I've been telling you guys, do a video where I share my top five or if I don't even have five, maybe my top three. I just want to do that. How many listings do you have? Uh, Timo, I have like over 100. I don't know what the number actually is. Um, <clears throat> best way to scale? I mean, without doing VAs, if you want to scale a bit, VAs is definitely how you're going to scale your stuff. But... Post more? Like post more videos? Oh, post more to scale. Yeah. So, um, I mean, definitely list your 10 to 15 a day if you can. Utilize ZDrop if you haven't already. Huh. Coupon code always is there for me if you want. Um, but, Martin. But, uh, yeah, I mean, ZDrop helped me increase and scale from starting to kind of where I'm at now. And uh, that's why I justified the price for it. But, um yeah. Honestly, I could be bigger than I am right now, drop shipping profit wise, if I listed consistently. I list very sporadically. Um, partially because I do the YouTube thing. So 
you know, my day when I get up, I'm like, okay, I gotta fulfill orders, and then you know what, I should make a video today, and then I edit it, and then I have to wait for it to upload, and then before you know it, I got actual business stuff to do, and then um, normal life, and then like, just run out of time super quick doing this stuff. <clears throat> okay. You know, time Chrome extension free. Can you use it without having an account? Okay. Uh, did you try to relist any items that never sold and suddenly started selling? I've had the opposite happen. I've relisted items that sold and changed some info on them and they stopped selling. Um, I guess I have, yeah. I listed some Paw Patrol beds from Walmart when I first started and I sold a few and then later I forgot about them and then I relisted them with like better profit margin and they were selling again. So kind of. I kind of just keep moving. I don't really focus on old stuff anymore. Um, OnlyFans is the wave. I have a side make vids with her and get a percentage. <laughs> Sweet, Martin. That's great. I heard people make a lot of money on there, but uh, I don't think I'm equipped for an OnlyFans. Um, is the max listings allowed 150? I have no idea. You mean total or per day? I don't. I would die if I listed 150 items per day. So I'm sure you just mean total. I have no clue. Um, how about how much profit do you make a day? Lately, I've been getting closer and closer to $100 a day. <clears throat> but I mean, we're almost at the end of the month, so $100 a day technically isn't true because, or else I'd be at more like over $2,400 for the month. And I'm only at 1677, so 1677 for the month. But I guess I did take a week vacation, so that kind of adds up. But some days I make, I mean, there was one day I made $8, and then there's some a lot of days I make 50, 45, but there's a lot of days I make over 100, so, yep. Right, um, okay. I think we need a system or calendar to prompt our relisting. Yeah, we do need something, yeah. Lawrence, what is your credit score? Um, let me see. Let me check. I don't mind. I don't mind telling you. As long as you guys don't steal my damn identity, weirdos. All right. Right now, TransUnion's at 738, and then Equifax is at 749. I think when I applied for my Amazon credit card, I was at like 760-something. I don't pay that much attention to my credit score, honestly. Cause especially because I'm kind of like anti-debt now. Because me and my wife did that whole debt-free journey, so uh, now we kind of look down on credit scores. But, I mean, that's just because we like to. Thanks for the likes, guys. Thank you so much. Also, if you haven't subscribed, you should do that. I would love that. Every you should every time I get a new subscriber, I tell my wife, and she's like, oh, that's crazy. Like, It's not like I'm sitting there just passively like, oh, cool, I get subscribers. Like, I check my subscriber count all the time. Like, If you guys subscribed, I noticed when you did it. All right. What do, you, what do you recommend to apply for the Amazon credit card? Um, just apply for it. What do you mean? Like, what cr what credit score do you need? Is that what you're asking? Do you recommend Amazon dropshipping? I mean, on an Amazon account through Walmart or even Amazon itself. I've never messed with Amazon seller accounts yet. I plan to eventually, but I just haven't gotten there. So I don't really have, I don't have useful information for you, unfortunately. How many items do you have listed? Over 100. Um, I just checked. I was also asked for my driver's license. Is that normal? I think I did have to upload a, a photo of my driver's license. So I think that is normal. I've heard that that's a thing. Lawrence, if that is what you're asking, is the recommended credit score? I mean, I don't know if it matters if I recommend a credit score ever because... All you can do is have what you have and it's gonna take a while for you to change it in any positive way so I mean when I at around 750 when I applied for it they told me I have a $5,000 limit when I got it they gave me a $9,000 limit without even mentioning it so I mean I don't know just as high as you can I guess you can probably get it with with anything and they're just gonna tell you how much you got available to you how did you meet the wife not me trying to find someone or anything. Uh, my wife and I met in high school. Um, we were in a musical together. And that's, I mean, we met before that, but yeah. Thanks, Mike, for subscribing. 
about damn time. No, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Six thirteen. You're my six thirteen, Mike. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. <clears throat> there is a, a YouTube account. I'm just gonna talk about this because I I realized it. I get a new notification that they subscribe to me like every week, and they're called Entertainment Hub. And I'm assuming they just have an auto program like subscribing and unsubscribing to people. So I don't know why that matters. Where do you check credit score so fast? Uh, I just use Credit Karma. I know it's not like the best, but I, I use Credit Karma just to check it really quick. Just an app on my phone. I don't know how accurate it is, but every time I've ever had to actually do like legitimate credit checks, it's pretty accurate. So. Do I have any sales? We were just talking about air mattresses. I sold a damn air mattress an hour ago. Ugh. I need to renew that listing and change the price because selling this air mattress has been a pain in my ass. I'll probably just tell them to cancel it. 613 is a holy number. What? Oh, oh, with my subscriber count. I think my credit score. I was like, I guess. Uh, it is. It is, Mike. You should be proud of that. We're at over an hour and a half, guys. This is my longest live yet. Maybe a, I never know what time to do lives because I live in Kansas, so I mean my time is different than some of you guys, especially if you're in a different country. And I never know if posting videos is smarter to do at noon, if it, if I should do it at 3 p.m. Like I never know when to post videos, so I experiment. Sorry if my videos come out at random ass times. <clears throat> this video already has 190 playbacks. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Big relief, yeah. Um, driver's license was normal. I think it's still even saved on my desktop for when I did it. Probably. Message request. I saw a template for Facebook Marketplace. It will be for sale later. All right. Um, so some of you guys, if you've noticed, if you start getting messages for people who are developing a Facebook Excel sheet or something, and they're, you know, it's in beta and they're gonna have it for sale later. Now you have a chance to try it for free. Be careful with that. It might be completely innocent, but I just got one of those messages. There was somebody in the group messaging me about that. Just, be, just if it seems weird, don't do it. Did you already mention the best category to sell? Sorry, joined late. What did I miss? I think it's time to recap. Nice, Mike. That's great. Um, all right. Right now. You know what? A lot of people aren't going to make it to the end of this live. So I'm going to give, I'm going to let you guys know one of the things that is going to be in my top five sales video. So if you're watching right now, I didn't plan on telling you this, but you can get it a little early. One of the top items that I'm selling right now categories that you might want to get into is similar to the stuff that I saw I listed in my last video that I posted I've been selling stupid car logo keychains like crazy the last couple days especially like on Amazon there's these like Chevy leather strap keychains you'll find them if you search them they're like $11.66 I sell them for like 20 some of them are $21 I'm sure my, my rate of sale is going to go down significantly now that I just told you guys that, but there's only like 30 viewers right now, and I doubt everybody makes it this far into the live when they watch it later. So um, if you did get this far, awesome. Those, I've been getting like 20 sales a day now for the last two days on those stupid keychains. So list them if you want. If you don't want to, don't. It is <laughs> nice, Corey. It is very um, overwhelming. I'm getting an over... Oh, also, if you're gonna list those, list them at $20, damn it. Don't list them less than that and undercut everybody. Get a nice 30 to 50% profit. Like right now, when everything's said and done after the taxes, I'm averaging about 38% profit on those. So just actually make the money on it. Don't don't try to get, you know, $2, just do it. Don't, Corey, $19.99, don't do it. 
And honestly, I'm still, I think I'm going to relist them. I think they'll sell at $22 or they'll sell at 20 and put $3 shipping on them. I think you can make more money on them because I, they're selling like nothing right now. So try to make more if you can, because I'm actually probably going to delete some of mine. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, does anyone know if it is better to ask the buyer to cancel their order or if you should cancel it due to out of stock? I was wondering how Facebook looks at it. I don't want to black mark. Thanks. Uh, Lila, what I do. Hold on, Martin, I'll get to that in a second. I don't understand what, what I just read. Okay, what I do if somebody wants to cancel, or if it's out of stock and I need them to cancel, I mean, I will tell them, hey, it's out of stock. Um, I, ju I just went to go process your order, and I my supplier informed me that this item is out of stock. I only, and then I will be like, um, if you want, I can send you this item instead. If there is a similar item, then I can send them, or if I can't find it on eBay or Walmart or wherever the hell. Um, and if, if I really need them to cancel, I'll be like, the fastest way for you to not get charged or to get your money back is for you to go into the details section and, and request to cancel the order. Um, and then I just kind of put it in their hands, like, let me know, you know, um, whatever. I'll just kind of probably leave it at that, actually. A lot of the times they'll cancel it, especially when you put the fastest way to get your money back or to not get charged at all is to is to cancel on your rent and request to cancel. Um, that's kind of how I do it. That's how I handle a cancellation. Do I need to do taxes if I haven't passed two thousand or not? IRS better not come for me, little shit. Okay. Um, I mean, how about this? Just do your damn taxes. I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe. I just, I would hate to, I mean, okay, so $2,000, self-employment tax is what, like 15% or something, so like 2,000 times 0.15, if that's right, I mean, you're on the hook for like 300 bucks, maybe less, so, I mean, it's up to you, if it's that low, you probably don't need to worry about it too much, but if you just want to keep everything up to code, yeah, is that $1,600 a month in revenue or profit, if you're talking about my, with the number that I said from my spreadsheet earlier, so far this month, I have sixteen hundred dollars in profit. Um, actual like stuff I the listed price on Facebook total of what I've sold is like sixty nine hundred dollars. So I have sixteen hundred in profit. Okay, nineteen eighty eight guys, make more money. Don't try to make less money than me. Um, I'm I don't. Like, I found this golden item that I was super thankful for. Don't ruin it. You guys are stressing me out. Um, how do you use Facebook profits as earnings, such as for purchasing a car or house? So I so I actually started my video production business with my partner um, a while back, and I actually bought a house before I even quit my normal day job because when you start a business – you have to have that business for like you have to show like two or so years of earnings because banks and stuff do not like financing off of self-employment income so i don't know how you use that technically they can go by bank statements but if you're actually going to use stuff it might be smart to start an llc and actually do everything by the book a little bit because banks don't like self-employment that much um, if it works, it pays to try and lift the price. I think you guys could list it for higher. I really do. Don't list at 20, list at 19, and pad with shipping. Yeah, that works too. I, I When I first started these, I listed them at 19, and they were selling like crazy. And I was like, ooh, I need to change this. I haven't changed it though yet. So I have deleted the $19 though. Yes. Is the number of good deeds mentioned in the Bible? <laughs> you guys are definitely on that 613 number. For me, motorbikes, decor, accessories go very well. That's good to know. That's cool. Yeah, man, stuff like, so, and I kind of talked about it in my last video. Think about the keychain thing I just said. You got people, there's so many people. People love their cars, especially if they're American-made cars, whatever the hell. I'm sure some of you are like that. You know, like, like, you know, I just, I know so many people who, when they first buy a car and if it's a Ford or a Chevy or whatever, like they're like, Ooh, yeah. And they like little cheap accessories they can get that are tailored to their car. They're not very expensive. So they're like a little upgrade that goes in their brain that makes them feel like they're achieving something by like getting a little upgrade for their thing. I don't, I don't know. 
it's 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 kind of a cool concept, but people love buying little stuff like that. And if they see it on Amazon, they're gonna buy it. Or they're, if they see it on Facebook Marketplace, they're also gonna buy it. Like it's just, I have so many people buying those keychains right now. So, and you know, you buy your first car, something's great. If those are great gifts for people who are proud of their car, like so many people have their hands involved in that kind of genre. So the motorbike decor thing is another great one. People are proud of having motorcycles, if that's what it is. Um, you know, people are impressed and they're willing to spend money on stuff to outfit that kind of love and passion for something. So that kind of falls in a good category. Um, okay, for me, motorbike decor. Okay, no sales on that mail truck you mentioned before you went on vacation mode, but it got 92 views right away. I put a night rider up and sold at 53 list. Oh, sweet. Nice. Once I listed that, I stopped getting sales for it. Well, I did for a while, but after vacation, I stopped getting sales. So I think everybody started selling it or it just like reached its window. Um, but I mean, I sold two the other day and one yesterday. I've been posting in bigger cities and have made more sales when I post in my own area. Oh, okay. And most of my sales are way out of my area. Go figure. Yeah, that's weird, but that's awesome. This keychain thing is like the concept of it, of accessories, an infinite money stream like the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I actually list it, just so you know. Um, actually, I list it the exact way that I list the BMW one in my last video. I haven't sold the BMW keychain thing, but um, I listed the, the leather ones that I'm talking about the exact same way. So... To know exactly how I listed it, I, except for the price, I did. I didn't do the fifteen dollars like the BMW, I think, or whatever I listed. I don't remember what I listed the BMW one for. But okay, guys, my throat is burning. Um, I have to pee so bad because I've been drinking and I haven't gotten up. I I I gotta get off. So I really appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love that you guys are liking the videos. You guys are helping me out so much by doing this and sticking in here, answering, asking questions. So. Thank you so much. I'm going to cut it off. I will see you next time.